Once you've got a style sheet, you can apply styles from it to your content. There are actually several ways to do this, depending on the type of content in the XML editor. Let's start with a simple paragraph. Suppose you created a class of the P style, giving it a light yellow background. You've named the class Tip. You open a topic and write a tip for your readers. Now you want to apply your tip style to that paragraph so that it looks different than the other paragraphs. First of all, make sure your cursor is placed somewhere in that paragraph. You don't need to highlight anything. One way to apply your style is to open the Home ribbon. Then click in the Style field and select P.Tip. There's the yellow background. And by the way, if you have certain styles that you tend to use a lot, you can hover over that style in the list and pin it. That way, it will stay at the top of the list so that it's easily accessible. We'll undo our change and show you a different way. This time, in the Home ribbon, click Style Window. This opens a window pane on the right side of the interface. This time, place your cursor on the paragraph and then find and select the style class from that window pane. Here's another method. You can press Ctrl Shift H on your keyboard. This opens a floating style picker. You can select your style class from here too. And finally, you can right click the P structure bar to the left of the paragraph. Choose Style Class, then pick your style. The only downside of using this method is that only the first 20 styles found are shown. Notice that there is also a submenu for selecting Style ID in case you have one of those that you need to apply. Now let's look at how to apply styles to a list. First of all, if you click on a regular paragraph, you won't see any list styles in the Styles window pane. That's because you've clicked on a paragraph, and Flare is going to show you only the styles that are appropriate for paragraphs. You must first use the button in the Home ribbon to create your list. Once you have a list, you can change the style associated with it. However, keep this in mind. Lists are made up of a couple of different HTML elements. A numbered list is going to have an OL tag, and within that tag will be one or more LI tags. The OL tag controls the entire ordered list. The LI tag controls the individual items in the list. It's similar with a bulleted list. It will have a UL tag that controls the entire unordered list, and one or more individual LI tags within it. So when you click in a list, you'll only see LI styles in the Styles window pane. If you click on the OL or UL structure bar, the Styles window pane will change, showing OL, UL, and other styles. If you want to affect the look of an entire list, it's usually best to make style changes to the OL or UL style because it's easier to apply a style to one thing rather than lots of individual list items. Let's say you want most of your bulleted lists to just use the default look, but you have special bulleted lists that you want to be blue and indented 50 pixels. So in your style sheet, you can create a class of the UL style, naming it whatever you want. Let's call ours Gilbert. Why not? In the advanced view of the style sheet editor, you change the font color to blue and the left margin to 50 pixels. After saving your changes, you go to your topic and click the UL structure bar. Now you can find and select the UL.Gilbert style. You can use any of the methods that we showed you when we applied the tip paragraph style. What about images? Well, at first you might not think that applying a style to an image is useful, but it definitely can be. For example, you can create a class of the IMG element in your style sheet and name it max 90%. Then, you can set the max width property to 90%. This will prevent the image from being wider than 90% of the size of the container holding it. This can be especially useful to prevent images from running off the side of the page in print-based output. Now that you have your image class, you can go back to a topic that has a really big image inserted into it. Right-click on the image, select Style Class, and choose your style. Also, if you use the Insert Image dialog when adding a new picture to a topic, you can use the Style Class field to choose your style ahead of time. That way you won't need to adjust it once it's in the XML editor. The style will be applied to your image as soon as it's inserted. Finally, let's take a look at Character Styles. These are styles that you apply to portions of a paragraph. As soon as you highlight some text in a paragraph, the list of available styles in the user interface will change. You won't be able to select paragraph styles from the Styles window pane. Instead, Flare will list only character styles. CSS provides a lot of basic character level styles. B is the style to use for bolding text. I is the style for making it italic. SUP will make superscript text, and so on. In addition, you'll see a span style and maybe some classes under it. You can use the span style if you need to create a custom character level style. Maybe your font family for paragraphs is Arial. But every once in a while, you need to have some parts of the paragraph stand out in Tahoma and a slightly larger font size. In the Style Sheet Editor, you can select the Span Style and add a class to it. 
Let's name it Mabel, so that it can keep Gilbert company. You set the font family to Tahoma, and you set the font size to 1.1M. What in the world does M mean, you ask? Well, it's a relative unit of measurement, sort of like percentage. 1M is like saying 100%, so 1.1M units is kind of like saying 110%. After saving your changes, you can highlight the text that you want to use your new style. Then you can select it in any of the ways we've shown you. One more thing about character styles. If you have your structure bars turned on, you'll see bars across the top that indicate if something has been done in line. You might see a bar that indicates a variable has been inserted into the paragraph, or maybe a cross-reference link. And if you apply any character level styles, you'll see those indicated too by the span bars. If you want to make a change to the span style, you can right-click on the span bar and select Style Class, then Edit Style Class. The Style Sheet Editor will open with your style class selected. For more information about applying styles to content, see this topic in the online help.